So today I'm going through and picking elderberries off bushes and collecting them in my little bucket. For the most part, I'm just using my hands to pinch off where the main stem with the berry cymes on it intersects with the first leaves. And they come off real easy. And I'm trying to harvest things that look ripe to me, but that's a little bit of a discussion here, is what is ripe and at what point in the process are we picking? Like, I'm not going to pick this one because it has a little bit too much green and orange on it. Definitely not going to pick that one yet. But this one looks perfect. And this one looks perfect. And if you harvest elderberries, I'd love to hear what techniques and timings you use. This variety that I'm picking now is Ranch. We also have Adams, and then on the field beyond we have Bob Gordon. After we harvest the fruit out in the fields, we bring them into the pack shed. We take the totes of fruit, we give them away, and then we're gonna put them through the de-stemmer designed by Mike Breckles. Here's the de-stemmer. The berries get into this hopper and then they are pushed through this hole where they are brought down. It's a little hard to see because we're pretty far into the process. And then the berries fall into the catcher down there and the stems are pushed out the other side, out here. And after they're destemmed, they are sorted into two pound lots, picking out any leaves, bugs, large amounts of stems, and we're trying to get it to less than 5% of the berries in here are green. So we'll also remove large amounts of green berries to get it under that kind of ratio. And this is all just stuff we're trying to figure out at the Savannah Institute. If you have a different process or if you have different standards, absolutely let us know. I'm happy to be in conversation about this.